It is absolutely freezing here in Michigan, and it makes me do things like wear this hat while my office heats up. Speaking of this hat, let's do a contour hack that makes a terracing effect that actually sort of looks like this hat. Here's the world topographic base map, and it's a good start for this effect. There are a lot of very light areas in this though, and I know that later on when I do weird stuff with these contours, I'm gonna use blend modes, and they'll effectively disappear over these lighter areas. So I wanna darken it, but I also wanna make it like cooler while I'm also darkening it. So why don't I add some texture? I'll add data, go to the Living Atlas tab. I'm gonna search for texture, and I'm gonna use parchment texture. I'll hit okay. This is a vector tile layer in Living Atlas that just gives things like a nice kind of old-fashioned yellowed faded parchment sort of feel. Before, after. And if you want a little bit more of that, just duplicate the layer. Now we've got even more of that. So here are our contours. These are just simple lines. I'll open the symbology. In the properties, we've got a single solid stroke in it. You know, by default, it's purple. I'm gonna come in here and go into the structure tab. And in addition to this line, I'm gonna add a symbol layer called a marker layer. Bunch of dots doo, 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 added repeatedly, irregularly spaced along our lines. Let's see what this looks like. And we're done. Okay, just kidding. Back in the layers, let's take a look at this. By default, we've got it as a circle symbol that repeats, but we can make it a line symbol that repeats. We can make this line super thin and maybe we'll make it well let's make it long i'm going to uncheck scale proportionally so they stay skinny when they go long let's just see what we've got now huh interesting we've effectively made train track symbology for our elevation contours let's make them a little bit closer together so i'm going to go into the marker placement option right now by default they're 16 let's make them like four right now they're looking a little bit more like eyelashes or caterpillars and less like railroad tracks. Let me just turn this off and I'm gonna show you something pretty great. Right now what we have is a mess, but if we apply a blend mode to this mess, I'll choose overlay. <gasps> Isn't that fun? Immediately, you get this kind of sense of fuzzy mountains. Let's, um, if this is cool, maybe we can keep making it cool. This line is, uh, Let's make it a little bit bolder and darker at the beginning. Well, I'm gonna make this color properties. I'm gonna make this black 50% transparent. So it's half as trans half as opaque as it used to be. And I hit apply. Softened it a lot, but let's go back into the structure. I'm gonna duplicate this thing, come back to the layers, and I'm just gonna make it shorter. And if you zoom in here, you can kind of see that I've got two of them. I'm gonna make it a little thicker. It's position, I want it to be top aligned. Position. This, I'll say anchor it there. So now it's kind of, it's looking even more like eyelashes. Let's see what we've got. A little bit bolder here. So remember this little purple line we had down here? Instead of a solid stroke, let's make it a gradient stroke. And I'll make it thick enough to kind of, I don't know, let's get crazy, make it 30. I want it to kind of line up with the top edge of this. So I'll come to the offset and let's see. Yep. And instead of fast, let's do accurate. And let's make this uh, dark. I'll make it black, but not full black. I want to make it transparent black, like uh, 50%. And this end color stop, I'll make this black too, but it'll be 100% transparent. 100, go. Okay, so we've got this kind of fall off opacity happening. Let's see. It's pretty subtle, but let me pan over to these areas in the Great Plains. Isn't that interesting? Remember how we stacked up versions of the Hasher line? Let's do the same thing with this gradient stroke. I'll duplicate this layer, come back here, and this one I'm gonna make thinner. Let's cut it in half. Well, let's make it 10. And I'll reposition it so it lines up at the top. Okay, I hit apply. The result is this kind of fun terrace effect that you can play with and improve on. 